Okay, good afternoon, everybody. Um, Sheriff Kristen Graziano, Charleston County Sheriff's Office. Yesterday, Sheriff Lewis gave you a briefing regarding a wanted fugitive uh, in the area of Garens Bridge Road and uh, Halfway Creek Road. Today, I'm gonna update you on what we have so far. This is all we have. Uh, so I'm gonna update you on. The person we're looking for, his name is Michael Burnham. I think you all already have that information. He is not local to the area. He is about 5'9", 150 pounds. Last seen wearing a gray shirt and blue basketball style shorts with white trim. I have pictures of this and I will distribute those. I think you already have them. These are the most current pictures that are captured off the body cam. So this is the actual, this is what he looked like when, when they uh, uh, got into an altercation with him. At about 11 o'clock yesterday afternoon, Berkeley County deputies encountered Mr. Burham and he was able to evade capture and he fled into the Francis Marion uh, Forest near Halfway Creek Road, close to Garens Bridge Road. We are confident at about 3 p.m. yesterday, there was a, a sighting off of Woodville Road, which is down Garens Bridge to, to Highway 17. Uh, we we're confident that that, was, that sighting was, was this, this person we're looking for, and he was on a beach cruiser, a dark style beach style cruiser bicycle. We did not get that information, however, until about seven o'clock that night after the newscast and after you all publicized that. So by the time we got there, uh, that subject had fled the area. The update that I have for you today is the FBI is, is offering a reward for the capture of Mr. Burham. There's a $10,000 reward in relation to this subject and we need to get this person in custody. I want you to take a good look at the photos. I'm gonna distribute what we have again. If you live in and around the North Mount Pleasant area off Highway 17 from North Mount Pleasant to McClellanville, please, please be alert and vigilant. Uh, particularly in the areas of Garens Bridge, Seawee Road, Steed Creek Road, anywhere from F Highway 41 to 45. If you have a boat, a camper, a shed, a vacant house, a trailer, any, any other structure on your property that looks like it's been disturbed, it was not left the way you, you left it, please call us. Do not go to that shed or that camper or that structure and check it yourself. Please call us and let us do it. We have people in the area that can do that. If you see someone that matches the description of, of this, this subject, um, acting suspiciously, trying to wave cars down, trying to flag vehicles down, hitchhiking, we need you to call us. If you live in the area of Woodville Road and you're missing a beach cruiser style bicycle, go check your garages. We need you to call us. We need to know where that came from so we can try to get some more uh, video of this guy. I want to reiterate what we kind of said yesterday. This guy is dangerous. He's, this, this is a fugitive. He is desperate. He's tired. He's hungry. He is, uh, and ask the public, please do not approach him. Um, I need you to call 911 or the, the 800 number with the FBI. So it's 1-800-CALL-FBI. 1-800-CALL-FBI or 911. If you have cameras at your house, uh, if you have deer, deer stands, um, ring doorbell, anything like that, surveillance cameras, if you, if you have any of that, check it. If you see somebody that might match the description, please let us know where you are so we can come take a look. If you see somebody that looks like this person, maybe in the similar clothing, please call us. We need to, we need to uh, verify that this, if this is the guy that we get hit, you know, make the efforts to get him in custody. You know, we've had hundreds of law enforcement search in the area over the past 24 hours, and we're going to continue to search, but we need the public's help. This guy is very good at evading uh, law enforcement, and we need your help. We don't know what your structures, your houses, your properties look like. Uh, we only know what you do, and so if you see something out of the ordinary, we need you to call us. Uh, we've been sending out alerts per periodically. This is the, the uh, latest alert. Um, Chris Garrett with the FBI can give you more uh, information regarding the reward. Does Berkeley County have anything major? No, I think you covered it, Sheriff. Okay. Uh, I want to just um, highlight a few of the, the agencies that have helped us out. So we've had help from, it's been a joint effort with Berkeley County Sheriff's Office, Mount Pleasant Police Department, North Charleston, Charleston Police Department, uh, Somerville Police Department, SLED, FBI, DNR, Probation, Parole, Forestry, even Beaufort County. This is a big deal. This guy is dangerous and we need to get him off the street and we're asking for your help. And I'm going to turn it over to Chris Garrett.
Uh, thank you, Sheriff. Um, just to reiterate what the Sheriff said, uh, the FBI is, um, has approved a $10,000 reward that will lead to the capture of Michael Burham. That is Burham, B-U-R-H-A-M, not Burnham, uh, just for, for clarity purposes. Uh, that $10,000 reward is attached to uh, the fact that he is wanted for unlawful flight to avoid prosecution tied to him being wanted for sexual assault, false imprisonment, as well as the kidnapping of two elderly individuals in Pennsylvania. Um, we feel that this is a significant case, and I want to echo what Sheriff uh, Graziano just said about how important it is. If, if we have enough people in the area, if you want us to come check your outbuildings uh, or anything, any structures on your property or equipment or boats, what have you, we have enough people to, to, to approach your property safely and conduct a search in a safe manner to make sure that, that this individual can be brought to justice. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I knew it. Thank um, you. I'll call boat landing. You guys were out there with a boat a little while ago. Can you tell us more about that? Uh, at this stage of the investigation, I cannot. And I know there was, a, there was, there was, looks like you guys were looking at some houses over here off the left-hand side of Highway 17 in the last hour. Can you talk to me about that at all? So I can't speak, get into any specifics. There, there is a tremendous amount of law enforcement activity in the area and the, as we're searching for this individual. Would you be able to explain how um, Mr. Burham was able to hitchhike and escape the woods yesterday? Um, I know no. Sheriff Lewis said that you all believe that you have him contained in that area. No, sir. A lot of big hearts in South Carolina. I see people giving the poor that live under the bridges cigarettes, water, and food all the time. It's the wrong time to be a good Samaritan around here and give somebody a drink of water, give them a sandwich, or give them a ride. Take one more minute to talk about that. It was cold. I give think, us a call. Yeah, if you see something that, that where someone is asking for something and, and they don't see, appear to be from the area, please give us a call. When the fugitive moved from the Huji area into this area, into the Owendaw area, Charleston County region, uh, was there a public safety alert sent out? Did, it, did you send out anything at that time? Uh, there was a notice that, that he was spotted somewhere around 11 p.m. We haven't confirmed any of that, uh, those notices. The, what, we, what we're sure of, or pretty certain of, is around 3 o'clock he was in the Woodville area. We have sent out alerts, but we don't have any updated information to give. Who is the lead on sending out these public safety alerts now? Who is going to be, is it the FBI or local authorities? It's, it's the FBI in coordination with local authorities and the emergency uh, dispatch out of the state. So there was concern that, there, that, that he had actually moved into this area and people weren't aware of it last night overnight. Can you speak to that at all? We, we've sent out everything we have and we don't, we're not going to answer any more questions. Okay, thank you.